Guys, seriously, so good to see you. And so right. good to see you in person. Also, yeah, congratulations absolutely. on this. I'm a big crier. Ever since I turned 30, I just cry every time. <laughs> this, this, this crushed me. Um, I, I want to talk about uh, the, the importance of telling stories like these. Yeah. There are a million small towns around the world. Uh, and in those towns are, are young boys and girls who need stories that remind them that they're being seen, that they're not alone, that they're being represented and they're being supported and they're being loved. As much as I would imagine this story, this film, was a blast to make for you guys. How many moments on set did you pause and go like, it's also actually really important that we're doing this? Oh, wow. Um, I, I felt a lot of pressure, so I think I did that a lot, probably like most mornings, um, to be honest with you. But um, I think for me personally, the day that that really um, came came up was the day you know that's reflected in this poster, um, which we did a, a street party, yeah. which is full of like thousands of, people that were invited to Dearlands Avenue in Sheffield and me and Lauren who this is our first film we're not known people we were driving down the street in a in a limo and people were screaming and you know there were drag queens there and boys girls um, and everything in between and it was just such a, um, a beautiful reminder of what we were doing and how many people that it could potentially touch mm -hmm. and th yeah that day for me I would say I would say for me every day because mm -hmm. um, even now even now, uh, the, I think, because for me, it's a very simple story. Uh, it's a community that I knew well. It's a community I grew up. It's a working class, northern community. But like you said, those communities don't exist just in the north of England. They exist all over the world. And young people are trying to find their place to take in the world. And, and for some people, they live in communities that can be supportive. For some people, they don't. And I think what hopefully our story does is it shows the power of one young person who goes I'm frightened to take my place in the world this is who I think I might be and everybody shifts around him and goes yeah we can allow that to happen we can make that possible for you and I say 3,000 people turn up on a day to celebrate and love this boy and go you be who you need to be yeah mm -hmm. yeah and for everyone else like step up and know that, that support is needed and love is needed and, uh, yeah, and and you know, and fear should leave. Mm -hmm. You know, fear should leave. This this is a, just a young man, like any other young man or any young person who wants to take their place in the world, find their place, discover who they are, because he doesn't know who he is, and that's mm. really a story. That's that's where he ends up. He he finishes up, as we would say in Britain, he takes the bins out on a Monday morning, <laughs> being his true wonderful self, and that's the, the that's his journey. You know from taking the bins out on a Monday morning through to taking the bins out on a Monday, Monday morning. morning. <laughs> uh, so thinking about this idea, what this movie is going to represent for people, what was that for you guys? What was the movie or the project or the song or the music artist or the musical that made you feel seen growing up? You're like, that, that understands me. Sa Sam Smith, for me, their music. Why? Just because I feel like it was the first time I really connected to a lyric that was, I'm, I'm gay myself, so it's uh, the first time I felt really connected to a lyric that felt um, inclusive of, of that story. Um, and they continue to be a huge inspiration for me and they actually follow me on Instagram now, so that's pretty cool. Oh, <laughs> tell me about the day that popped up on your phone. Yeah. <laughs> you texted me and you were like, I was like, oh my, oh my God. God, the craziness, yeah. Oh my it was God. Crazy, I got yeah. really cocky one day when I thought Barack Obama followed me and then I realized he followed me. <laughs> like, oh my god, I'm friends with... Oh no, I'm not. So yeah. Yeah. Impressive. What yeah. about you guys? Was there something growing up for you guys? Yeah, I, th I think um, definitely like watching a lot of American TV, I didn't know that there were Indian people in America. I never saw them on the screen, so I didn't know that there were people here that were Asian, apart from like the odd stereotypical. So I actually resonated with a lot of like Latino women mm -hmm. in American TV, um, and like Santana from Glee, and like... People like Mindy Kaling yeah. and Dev Patel and people like that are just like fantastic role Love models that. for me. Love that. Well, as we wrap up, uh, one, the only thing that makes this story even better than already is the fact that it's a true story. And I love the idea of having a true story in one's life being turned into a musical. What is a great moment from your life that would have made for the best st song and dance musical number? It's a very, oddly, 
I uh, don't know how, how much of a song and dance number it would be, but I could find a way of doing it. I know you could, if <laughs> anyone could. Uh, I, would, I was born in Sheffield, from, in a working class community. I was born in a project, in a, what we call a flat, in a place called Park Hill. And I, we did uh, Jamie as a stage uh, show in Sheffield, and the uh, film producer came to see the show and then picked it up. And his office was in Park Hill Flats. And it was literally underneath from where I was born. So I, that full circle of a young boy who would sit upstairs, because I live with my granddad, who would sit upstairs and watch movie musicals at the age of five, mm. to find his way back to making a movie musical was astounding for me. I oh, mean, chills, I, I, yeah, chills. So, that's like one of those, like in musicals where like the song starts at the opening and then the song comes back at the end. Exactly. I don't know there's a name for that. Yeah. I'm not smart enough to know what the name yeah. is, but it would be that thing. And I'd, I'd find a way of making I that into a I know you would. I know you would. What thing. about you guys, really quickly? I, know um, I would maybe the time that my like appendix like semi-perforated. <laughs> Jesus. Um, and find a way love, to do that. I, I'm on it yeah. already. And I'm then I, I was doing like an amateur production of Cats at the time. So I had to go on and do cats like two weeks after my surgery to get it removed. So maybe that, that sounds like fun and dramatic and funny. I love that moment. <laughs> <laughs> Mine would be so boring, you guys are so good. I have no idea. I think a musical about Bolton would be very um, creative. Lots of different, yes. lots of different people there. <laughs> I'd love to see this interview, us do it just in song and dance. That was my back. That was my, I was going to do that, the whole song Listen, and dance number. We, we can take stage. Yeah. The camera's here. <laughs> uh, when everyone talks about Jake, then we'll have that conversation. Yes. Right <laughs> guys, I cannot thank you enough for making this film. You guys should be incredibly proud. I know you guys have a long tour, so uh, good luck with everything. And thank I appreciate you. you taking the time to chat. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank, thank, you. thank you. You guys are amazing. Thank you. And good luck. I hope you enjoy Chicago. Yeah. We're enjoying we it. We're loving we it. I'm right across town, so if you need a place to crash. Where we're going, we don't need roads.